In this video, we want to speak about roll forming materials and applications. It is a process wherein a sheet or strip of metal such as steel is passed through a series of continual set of rolls until a desired profile or shape is achieved. The strip or sheet is deformed plastically along a linear axis in an environment at room temperature. Used typically to create parts that feature long lengths. Roll forming is very useful in the manufacturing of great quantities of a specific shape. Every stand in the process of roll forming has a specific task in the fabrication of the piece and each stage involves some changes in the configuration of the strips or sheets of metal. The size of the stands used typically depends on the type, formability, and thickness of the metal. The process of roll forming The process of roll forming metals is relatively new. The strips of metals are bent into the machine to create a new, desired, and specified shape. In the roll form technique of shaping metals, the strips are placed in a series of rollers with each one closer to the finished design. As the metals move through the roll forming machine, each set of rollers will bend the metal gradually. This aids in preventing any deformation from unwanted or sharp bending. While the process of metal shaping may appear to be more expensive initially compared to the other ways of shaping metals, it is more favorable because it has a higher success rate. This manufacturing method is almost done uniformly with steel strips. While some procedures are using other materials, there are just minor or small differences. The steel being used in the process is basically stored in larger rolls which are shaped like that of a big pinwheel. Although the machine takes metal for roll forming, the wheel can unwind slowly until it will require replacement by the other. The roll forming machine takes the strip of metal from the roll and while the metal is fed into the machine, it will be straightened out and then measured for length. At some predetermined intervals, the metal strips are cut to suit the desired length and size of the final product. The size of the roll as well as the cutting component of the machine makes the starting side of the machine a bit larger than the others. With the front area excluded, most machines are quite long and thin. This is to accommodate the slow or gradual way of forming metals. Since they can take up a lot of space and the design is specialized, the machines are only used for the ongoing or continuous process. Less expensive machines or those that come in smaller sizes are used on the other hand for limited batches processes. When the strip of metal is in the machine, it encounters a set of rollers, moving it onward and creating a small change in the metal shape as well. With the roll forming method of shaping metals, the changes are relatively small and metal is not put under stress which may damage it. Why use roll forming? When the strips of metal are already in the machine, it will encounter a series of rollers that will move the metal forward and simultaneously create a small change in the shape. Once the process is completed, the strip of metal may be a complex shape, done entirely in small steps. The main reason for this is to protect the metal. Because the strips being used in the roll for the machine are very thin, other methods of forming the metal might have the possibility of causing damage to the metal that is beyond repair or recovery. This will entail wasting a huge amount of time and money. With roll forming, however, the changes are just so small that the strips of metal are not placed under enough stress to damage it, though the final shape may still contain many folds. Gone are the days when manufacturers would use the old and traditional methods of forming metals.
Aside from the fact that it would take them long to complete the process, it can make metal susceptible to damage. Manufacturers today are investing in these machines to make sure that the specific shape of metal they want is easily achieved without spending more time or casting metals. Perhaps the only drawback to rolling forming as a process of manufacturing metal is that it is quite expensive than other methods. Machines used for roll forming are highly specialized and large. Also, setting up rollers can be a very complex process which is typically done by computer and this can result not only in a long setup but change over time as well. Manufacturers that want to make sure their desired shapes of metal are achieved in the faster and easier way have used roll forming machines. They find it reliable especially when there are intricate shapes of metals that they need to produce. Roll forming is a manufacturing technology to obtain long parts with constant cross sections. Typical applications in the automotive industry are bumpers, door beams, frame rails and roof bows. Roll formed products are all around you. Just look at the buildings and infrastructure you pass by every day. Power distribution components. Warehouse and data storage commercial food storage. Solar trains, trailers and trucks. Guardrails and signposts. In the power supply, for data centers, commercial retail, and higher ed buildings, the power distribution system is absolutely vital infrastructure. These systems are highly proprietary and implemented by thousands of feet per project. Consequently, custom roll form parts are critical in both current carrying and non-current carrying equipment. Copper bus bars and conductors, current carrying, cable trays and wire raceways, non-current carrying. in the warehouse. Warehouses go hand in hand with power distribution. Yet they still deserve a separate mention, because they are also filled to the max with old school roll form shapes angles and channels. Shelving posts shelving supports and cross members. Automated pallet rails.
at the grocery store. Roll forming is used extensively in the commercial food storage industry. Textured paneling for decorative purposes. Kick plates by the floor that keep dust at bay. Stainless steel handrails and protective sills. Insulated shelving structures that hold the goods. On the tracks, train cars consist of some of the longest, most uniformly shaped components known to man like, up to 80 feet long. And while train manufacturing is a niche market, from exterior to interior, roll forming is the only way to produce these parts. Exterior roof and side panels. Protective steel cell plates wall and ceiling stiffening channels. Decorative stainless steel rails. Stainless steel transition pieces. On the road, every type of roll form channel can be used to build the interior framing skeleton for the cabs on these things. Also, you're likely to see some stainless steel trim on the exterior of high-end trailers. The same goes for 18-wheelers, but those also have giant wheel fenders, which are made with a very specific type of roll form machine. In the examples above, custom roll formed shapes are particularly useful due to their ability to be produced at a rapid pace while maintaining design accuracy. Yet it's also ideal for parts with multi-bend profiles, or those that require high-end finishes. Hole punching, bending, and cutting to length are all easy to fit into one continuous process, rather than separate steps. In all of these cases, it's simply more cost-effective and productive to use this tried-and-true method of metal forming. What makes roll forming different? Roll forming is different from the older techniques that were once used by manufacturers. This is because it can be combined with secondary operations of shaping metal such as pre-punching, mid-piercing, and post-punching in line along with sweeping before it is cut off. What makes manufacturers today decide to use roll forming in shaping metals is that it can offer them a lot of advantages. 
One of them is that the same machinery can be utilized to create a wide range of cross section the guardrail profiles. flattening or extruding. Every different profile of the guardrail is redirecting the guardrail away from the vehicle until the, the vehicle's design and roll is form busy. machine resembles a flower. Roll it forming is a materials and application roll forming materials for undergo a process roll. called roll forming. Since roll forming it is, is the a process where in a sheet or strip of metal such as steel is passed through a series of continual set of rolls until the desired profile or shape is achieved. The, of the, roll set the strip or, or sheet is deformed to ensure that the metal unit will not be unduly stressed and at the same time to reduce the overall number of rolls needed in the process. The most common examples of roll formed applications include car chassis sections, impact bars, and window guides. Such can be pre-punched, then roll formed, and then mid-pierced and lined before they will be roll formed even further. Finally, they will be welded and cut off in a continuous operation. Like in tube and pipe mills, Roll forming can be used with almost any type of metal whether ferrous or non-ferrous. Stainless steel coils, low or high strength alloy steel. Martensitic steel and aluminum can all be used in the roll forming process. It is possible that you emboss coils of steel or aluminum with finishes stimulating wood grain like those used for garage doors. If you want to use embossed metals, the roller dies should be adjusted preventing it to roll out of the embossment. Vinyl laminated and pre-painted sheets can be roll formed as well though they won't be welded.